We're going to Wembley, but it's patriotic Indian songs, not football chants. This coach from Reading is full of local Modi supporters. So what do they think is drawing so many people to see such a controversial leader? Critics say he's a Hindu fundamentalist, and under him India is becoming less tolerant of minorities. Fans say he's a patriot. The rest of the politicians we had, they were very apologetic about being Hindu, they were very apologetic about their culture, their tradition, and about India as a nation which has been in existence for more than thousands of years. And, uh, but this is the first time we have a Prime Minister who is proud of India. Tell me about the people who are on this bus then. Is it mainly Gujarati? Is it mainly... Uh, it's a mix of uh, from uh, all people from the all over the country, yeah. right, from top to bottom and east to west. It's a mix. But is there also a mix of cultures then as well? Is there also, Muslim, is there yeah. also a Muslim or Sikh one here? I uh, don't know about Muslim. It's very difficult to identify yeah. Muslim. But whilst many focus on Modi's relationship with Hindu revivalism, a key reason for his popularity has been his use of social media. He even has his own app. It just makes people feel very, very connected to the government right at the top. Tens of thousands flooded to Wembley today in an event more like a concert than a political rally, with Modi, a man once banned from the UK, the headline act. This is a historic day for a great partnership and you are the heartbeat. There's been singers, dancers, Bollywood performers, but Modi is the real star of the show. And that's part of his appeal. He projects a confidence that many in the diaspora find attractive. But others, though, worry behind all the glamour lies a far darker agenda. People like Erdogan, Narendra Modi, Putin, you're seeing a new breed of extremist politicians, yet they're popular. And this is a combination of authoritarianism with populism. And it's very much linked to a very large international PR effort. And one entertains rather than engages in the business of democracy, of secularism, of protection of minorities. Modi's mix of pride in India's traditions alongside a capitalist modern vision appeals to many British Asians in the audience who want their country to be seen as a world player. Other Indian Prime Ministers have come to England before. They didn't get a reception like this. What makes it different for him? Um, I think he really, really is attracting a younger crowd because he's standing for really good things. He's a very strong, genuine leader, pushing India forward. Outside Wembley, though, there was an assortment of protesters, some angry at Modi's policies in Kashmir, Sikhs protesting the recent shooting in Punjab of demonstrators. One of those performing on stage was British Asian singer Jay Sean. He says as a Sikh, he wanted to promote harmony between communities. Of course my heart and, and my feelings and my, you know, my soul goes out to all of the people in all of my Sikh community in, in Punjab. I want everybody to know there that yes, I was under some pressure, but as a Sikh man, I'm proud of being Sikh, but guess what? I'm also up there on stage. I have a microphone and I have the chance to talk not only to 60,000 people in, in England, but to the whole of India. If I didn't go on that stage today, I feel like it would be a cop out. Today, Modi mania came to Britain. Few politicians can count on such passionate support when so far away from home. Back in India, though, Modi's party just lost a regional election. He'll hope that images like these help cement his position both internationally and domestically.